the girl. A rapid pony rushed towards the top of the wardrobe. The talk and get started and took a bit. Beads of sweat rained from my forehead as the gruff voice called upstairs. Who was it? What had they wanted? Why were they there? Anxiously, the girl, who was sat cross-legged next to me, was chewing her brush lip and twirling her flaxen hair around her finger nervously. Just then, a light, like a gleaming streetlight trying to shine, divided the room. Creep, Mum, poor girl. With her quivering finger on her crimson lip, she whispered, Shh! But I hardly heard, as my body was paralysed with fear. Where are you? screamed an impatient stranger. Petrified, I froze, not even winking. I was a robot, and fear was my owner. As I held my breath, a wave of nausea overcame me. What would happen if we were caught? One word rang in my ears. Death. Immediately, I began to hyperventilate, and the girl clutched my drenched hand. Unusually, the voice sounded familiar. I'd heard it before I dragged myself into this mess. That morning, I'd been shopping with Edme. After I had hugged her goodbye, I began to make my way home. One forty three was the time on my phone. I had at least an hour and a half left before I absolutely had to be home. Gradually, it began to rain. Luckily, I was only a few blocks away from my nan's. On the way there, I passed a pitch black alleyway. That was when I had heard his voice. You're my child. Nobody can stop me from seeing you. You will never be free, he squeaked, slamming the door behind him. Then a suspicious man had barred the path of me and a ghost girl sat by the window weeping next to a sign that Helen held. How could I have left her? After I'd slid through a crooked, dusty, pretty window, I had begun to search. Where was she? Eventually I found her and I needed information. Who are you? I questioned, edging towards her. Shh, keep quiet. I'm Savannah. I heard Savannah. Why are you here? Savannah politely replied. I'm being held captive here by my father. Then the gruff voice had called and we had to go. A sudden movement had shocked us. Without warning, the stranger marched downstairs. Quick! I hissed like a cobra. Together, we leapt out of the window and ran for our lives. Run! Run for the school. They know me, Savannah calls to me. Once we reached the school, I sped into the office. I'm Adriana, and I'm here with Savannah. She interrupted. Savannah Hill. Yes, Savannah Hill. She's a student here. Her father held her captive for a few months now. Slowly, the humble lady behind the counter stood up, tears in her eyes. Is it you? It is. Don't ever go to your death again. That night, I was on the news. Girl rescues young hostage from a father read the headline. Even the town mayor called for me a hero. Thankfully, Savannah's evil father was arrested, but Savannah carried on with her new best friend, Esme and Adriana.